So this is not a ladder runeward. Anybody can make this runeward. I mean, the rings, rings and that stuff doesn't matter that much, like I say, unless you're going to shove, like, SOJs on or something. So just find yourself any two open socket, helm, or soul, lore helm, one doll skills, 10 energy, 30 light res. Some man after kill, damage reduce. Very nice. Very nice, and look how simple and easy that was. And let's go back. Yeah, I mean, you can get, like, natal rings or whatever you want. And let's go get our skill point from Radiment. Lom is a sweaty guy. Hey. I am a little bit sweaty sometimes. Can you blame a guy? Am I excited for D4 at all? Yeah. I mean, I'm more excited for D2R right now. <sighs> Fresh meat. Grizzly Peach and Marky Jones. Mwah. Kisses to you both. Um I was I, I was wanting more at BlizzCon for D4. I was I was kind of sad uh, that we didn't really get a lot. So that was my like me. You know, I was I was a little disappointed. I was hoping that they would give us more, show us some more stuff. We got the rogue, which was cool. I, I will admit, I loved the rogue. But, like, it was just the rogue that we had, you know. And they're doing their quarterly blog updates and all that stuff, so I understand. But overall, I still have slight concern with the Diablo 4 development of that it's going to be too much Diablo 3. Um, you know, I, I still see a lot of that influence in the game, and that's just something that I don't want. You know. So. That's really my only piece concern, all that stuff. Get him. Cool. So now we have all of our skill points, which is nice. Spirit of Barbs. Uh, just don't. Don't get it. Okay, this is just a worthless spirit. Nobody gets it. Let's also respec. Your presence honors me. So now I have to think Good day. if I want to run Shockwave. It'd probably be a good idea. Let's run Shockwave. Okay, so I'm going to run Shockwave. And then we're not going to get any vines... Okay. And this, obviously, more points here will also increase damage. Um, 275, 140. Uh, 6977, yeah. So this increases the attack rating of them, which is good. You want to have more attack rating for sure. Um, perfect. Well, I'm going to have more skills on it. So, actually, I'm okay with it. Let's just go with this. And then... Good day. I'm going to go up to 60 strength. Like I talked about before, there's a lot of, like, plated belts and things that I really like. You can get a lot of very good items for 60 strength or less. And everything else into vitality. We are in nightmare. Our resistance is our max, which is nice. Always try and get close to that. And then, uh, why? There we go. I think that's all the summons that we're going to have active. Yep, because we're not going to have the wolf. And then we will have this guy. So that'll be big old bear. And we're going to have shockwave. So now I can show you a little bit about um, Nightmare. I guess we should pause because this is normally... Thank you guys for watching the normal playthrough. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is, uh, ah, crap. I should have put that at the start. And 
How are we going to do this? All right, we'll just cut that video somewhere. All right, we showed the respec. Now just let's jump into the intro. Lama Ding Dong. That you? That's not me. Thank you, Killer Catfish. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lama SC here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the Nightmare Speedrun. And I just showed you a little bit about that uh, respec right there of what you might be looking at as we head into Nightmare. So let's dive on in and let's take a look at some of the fun that we are going to be having. So, the first thing to mention is that we are now um, specced out of vine. So no poison creeper, no vines whatsoever. And we have specced into uh, werebear and shockwave. And actually, I should spec into lycanthropy as well. Um, so I guess one, two points over there would be good. We can spend a den point on that if we would like, and then another point in the future. Um, so that'll just be helpful just to increase life and duration, which is always nice. Regardless, um, having the werebear and having the shockwave is going to be very, very nice for this character. And I'll show you why here. We are also going to be running doggos. But you can see that we have a stun. And with said stun, we can make it so much easier for our minions here to kill stuff. So much easier. So our duration is very low right now, which is why we need to go and get lycanthropy. It's going to be very important for us. Um, but that's a very just nice, easy thing uh, for this character, and it really really will help you out like so much because it is a long stun right it is already at 4.6 seconds and it's only got uh, level six right there so no grizzly summon no so grizzly summon is great but once again the issue is look at the damage he just he's super tanky but he just has no damage whatsoever so you'll just be sitting waiting forever Remember, these direwolves, whenever they kill something, they eat the corpse, and then they get double damage while they've eaten the corpse. So it's it's huge. Right? So you can literally just do this every 4.6 seconds. Nothing can touch you. This is like one of the most broken good stuns in the game. If you... Uh... <laughs> If you have a team, this is a fantastic build. Okay, it also has a little bit of damage on it, but it's not really a damage dealing skill. Yeah, and it works in the way of the range, right? So if you shoot it out at the far spot, it'll be narrow. If you shoot it really close to you, it'll be really wide. There you go. You know, five seconds done. And this goes all the way up to like 14 seconds or something. Probably even higher. I mean, the, the, the stun range or the stun like length on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Goes up to 20 seconds. Maybe 21 seconds actually. It's not going to work on, like, Diablo or anything, though. The stun duration doesn't get reduced in higher difficulties. I mean, if I wanted to get a couple melee swings in, but I don't really care. I'm just I'm just here to let my, let my guys do the damage. It's very broken, yes. Extremely broken. <laughs> But it's fantastic for the summoner. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing is that it's a little short, but I mean, whatever. It's, you know, giant AoE. I know we can, but this is a summon druid, you know. We're gonna let our summons be the heroes here, not get some awesome stuff. 
Story of your life? I feel that, Papa. Oh, hey, Papa Ping. How you doing? I hope they fix that one, Pero. So, you can see, will it always work on these unique bosses? Not all the time, but often, yes. <sighs> so, once you get them in that lock, yo, you're good to go, right? So yes, it can work on those. So you can I'm pretty sure you can like stun the ancients and stuff with them as well. Sikam, thank you. That was easy. Alright. For the sake of everything, just pretend like you watched the respec and everything was good. A gift for you. So pleased to see you at BlizzCon Llama. Less than three, less than three, less than three. Thanks, Sue. Appreciate that. Alright, so now with Lycanthropy, one point in it, we have 140 second added to the duration. That helps a lot. Rattle Cage is fantastic. King's Grace. I haven't used much King's Grace. Which Warren item is best for this build? If you can get a beast, you're gonna be a beast. Um, Pride is also nice. Pride has concentration aura. Is Pride ladder only? I think so. Yes, it is. Cham, sir, Iolo. So. Also, if we can get our mercenary a better weapon here, he will greatly improve. So, I'll probably go grab him something. But I, I might just wait until we get to the Nightmare Mercenary and hire a new one and then grab him something good there. But yeah, having this character in your team can be really helpful, by the way, just for all the people who never thought so. Obedience is nice, sure. But we're looking for auras to give to our monster friends. I don't think anything easy will be around, though. So. I do have that... Uh, Insight. Maybe I'll give that to him. Or we can go grab something. Um, something else. Oh, Diablo. How's this game? Ravens are also like, okay, but not crazy. Oh, hey, look, it's Evo. Wondering how Diablo is. Act on Merce with Faith Bow. I mean, that's also very nice. Do I have a specific guide just about mercenaries? Uh... Maybe... Hard, hard to remember. Yeah, we're in Pluggy right now. So I could go ga grab like Reaper's Toll. That's a fantastic item. You might go look around. What level is Insight required? What did I put it in, though? It might be in a Colossus Fold or something over there. In fact, I think it is. What up, Gerber? Yeah, it's like 27. Crescent Moon? Just want something high damage for him. Did I get the alpha test invite? Did you get one? I didn't get one yet. Nothing yet.
Yeah, mercenary bug happens every time you get your mercenary or you quit or restart the game, whatever, right? The stun can be difficult against ranged and stuff for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I felt bad for Grubby with Reforged, for sure. I mean, hey, worst case, if it does happen, I can just hang out with Grubby and we can be the grumpy old guys. <laughs> worst case scenario. The nice thing is, even if it's all terrible, Diablo 2 is amazing, and so... Regardless if they somehow wreck everything else, which I, I just after talking to the team they won't They just won't you guys That's all I can tell you it, it, it just will not happen I have a hundred percent faith in that in that team after talking with Rob and uh, Andre I mean There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, and they've all their other remakes they've done. I mean, it just they can't go wrong with it. I, that's all I can say. I don't know. Also, if you ever get a skill shrine, resummoning your dudes makes them stronger. It's always a good idea. Yeah, they're just remastering all the like sounds. Same team should remaster Goldeneye. Goldeneye does probably need a remaster. Wow. There you go. There's a nice little two-hander for in bear form. Eth <laughs> Black Tongue. Boosting the damage of these guys. Get them, pups. A lot of people have never realized how effective this is. <laughs> One of the most underutilized skills, probably, in the game. This isn't even maxed out. I mean, like I said, if you have a party member, max this out. Like, it's like 20 seconds stun. Amelia, I need you to come this way. Chance, lightning chance. Ooh, a spectral shard. My goodness. What am I using? Oh, yeah, spirit. That's right. Look at these drops. Look at that. Eth spectral shard. 
That'd be a fantastic item, you know, if you don't have a plus to skills. Still very, very nice. Very nice. Nice, Admiral. The other nice thing about Bear is you get a nice boost to your health as well, so... Get to run around a little tankier here. Perfect. Got a stun on the boss. Always good. Did I use Bear for meat, meat shield? Nah, I got three dire wolves that are kicking butt. So anyways, the tower, once again, fantastic place to farm if you would like. You can get good levels in there. You can get, obviously, the soul rune. You can get a shell rune if you want to rhyme for some reason. You can get uh, just all sorts of, you know, nice runes, all the way up to Io. So even getting that, if you want to make a black. Um, Amrun, if you want to make a strength for your mercenary, maybe get him some crushing blow. Uh, really, just a lot of ideas there. Io and Dolrun, that is correct. That is the area I grind in. Just do tower. What scares me the most about D4 right now? Is your sphinctitious flower painting askew? That's gonna be too much like D3. Slightly canted along the horizon. I'm not a giant fan of like the look of items and text and all those things right now. I mean, it's maybe me being too picky, but I don't feel like that part has the, like, I don't know, the gorgeous look of a, of a game. And I'm afraid that, you know, the items are going to be too much attack, defense, and, you know, simplified in that way. I don't like the rune words. I'm hoping they fix that for sure. All you're missing is a uh, sword for open socket. Like I said, use the socket quest on a sword that you get from the, the cows. Long sword, broad sword, or crystal sword. Crystal sword being the first best, broad sword being second. Long sword being third. Normal cows, that is. Getting to Act Two, honestly, faster would be will be good because once we get that Might Aura on our Act Two mercenary, that'll be really helpful. Respects? Uh, I mean, I have it available. But, you know, not that I really would think of, but we may see in Hell there might be some idea that we want to respec. 
It's one of those keep our options open sort of things, but I don't have any plans of respecking. I feel like at this point we can play this build straight through. Just maxing this, maxing that, maxing that, right? It's kind of my thoughts. More points in this would also be nice, um, as that does increase damage as well, so. Maybe that's not a bad idea over like putting points into those two once we get this maxed out. Line up bear summon. We're going for the woofs. More damage. Emilio! No! Dang it. He got caught in the lightning. My man got caught in the lightning. That's going to happen a lot, by the way. <laughs> You'll lose your mercenary to lightning enchants and things like that, especially when they're very low on res, like our guy is. So if you can get your, your mercenaries some nice resistances... That can actually be super helpful. Oh, I mean, the Necromancer is by far the best summon. It's not even close. The man kills it. Evo is over in Julie's stream, but he asked me to ask you how this game is. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Typical Evo. Tell him to do his job. What am I not paying him for? Ridiculous. White Wand is the best, yes. It's so good. Not for any Necro build, but for Bone Necro, for sure. And even other classes as well. See you, Duel. Have a good one. Best individual summon? Probably the Valkyrie. She can clear the entire game by herself. Having, ever having issues, just get a Valk. Stand behind her and let her beat the game for you. Yeah, it's got a Skelly Necro buff on it, but there's still like better mid-game ones for the Necromancer if you're summons. Best Town Guard character? Trap assassin. Set your traps, leave. <laughs> well, if she looks like the Diablo 2 resurrected Amazon, eh, not as great. Blame Llama, whoa. You've got many things to work on, Evo. I have not played any Valheim. Everybody is in love with it. All my friends, all my all the other streamers. I have no clue what the game is about or like or anything. Something like Minecraft or Rust or I don't know. I've never played those games either, so Any new barb builds? I've got like three guided playthroughs for barbs.
Defend them. Or Tal L. Not bad. So yeah, like I said, you can get all the way up to Io Rune in here. This is a great place to get the runes for your lore, for a rhyme shield if you want it, for a spirit. Um, all of these things are possible. So, it's, it's very nice, very simple. Yeah, you could wear full outers if you wanted. I mean, I don't really recommend full outers, elders, but if you really wanted it, you could. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, helm's nice. Boots are fantastic. I love Alder's boots. Get him. It's, it's never a bad idea to recast Ravens because you're just refreshing the hit cooldown that they have on each of them. So always think about that as well. Nice hit trip. I don't know, Ted. It goes up and it goes down, so... <laughs> you know, we'll see where it balances out over time. This build is kind of slow. What are you talking about? We're flying right now. I like these glasses. It's like the only pair of glasses I've owned that I've actually liked. Next man for stream is this weekend. My kids are being forced to learn software development so that they can contribute to MVS overlays, Llama RPG, spectacular development, fixing and reverse engineering other software for Llama, so yes. Hashtag blame llama Mr. Llama Rage. And it's gonna be great for their futures. They're gonna be thanking me when they get into Harvard. That's all I can tell you. I don't know if I'll be able to stream the alpha test. I really hope so. I really hope we will. But. Who knows? Usually alpha test, they don't. Maybe I can try and do some convincing. I didn't watch GME, but we heard a little bit. Or a little bit of the craziness. No, you cannot get amp damage on a wand as a charge. Ooh, five to strength. It's actually kind of nice. Let's get rid of that. Keep the res. D2 resurrect. I trust my peppers to eat corpses when they're hungry. I don't know if there's going to be mouse and keyboard on console. I know there will be controller on PC, but I don't know if reverse. <sighs> it's a good point, Eva. We should probably do that. Say, hey, we got some pretty important stuff.
Get him! Play it on Switch with mouse and keyboard, yeah, be nice. But I don't know. I don't know what's in the plans there. I'd hope so. How do you rewind the keys? Right there. This is one of your favorite builds? <laughs> I've never heard somebody say that I feel like for the summon druid. Julie just beat Andariel first try thanks to Awesome Llama Guides. Nice! Get it, Julie. I should totally grab that Lord of Terror 10 inch bust. Isn't it like $300 or something, though? I mean, it looks sick. But I have trouble paying $299 or whatever for the Chipotle. Extra guac. 175 euro? Okay, so like 225 bucks or something. Time to start running those Twitch ads. <laughs> I mean, it looks amazing. I, I completely agree with that. I'm gonna stand in the way and tank the lightning for my mercenary. Extra guac three dollars. It's like maybe it's two dollars for the guac, three if you want the chips as well or something. It's, it's crazy expensive. It's absurd. That's what I'm saying. Is Emilio my favorite merce name? Probably. I mean, Golzar is a classic because he's been with us forever, but Emilio's got the Emilio, you know. There's a Lord of Terror bust that looks really cool. It's on the probably blizzard.com website or wherever the shop is. Wahid! <laughs> yeah, Golzar is a classic. It's true, Meatwad. Can we see the llama bust? Getting an Emilio bust. <laughs> continue with vitality, per usual. And continue with points into Dire Wolf. You like Azrael? Good one. No! Not even 1000 HP. Well, might as well reset now. Oh, it's only 140? A gift for you. Free shipping, too. That's nice. I mean, it looks super cool, but what do you do with it? I. Put it on the counter behind us or something, I guess? I don't know, maybe one day I should actually decorate my room. Would you rather fight 100 Rakanishu sized Diablos or one Diablo sized Rakanishu? Uh, Rakanishu sized Diablos. Are you kidding me? You want to fight a <laughs> Diablo? Or a Rakanishu the size of Diablo? No way. He's deadly enough in his current size. Awful. Yeah, Rakanish is already big enough, man. Oh, 
we're really just running through, not killing everything, but if we find, you know, boss groups like this. We'll kill them. We like boss groups and experience, but we are level 34, so we're already a pretty good level, honestly, which is really nice. A couple champs in there, not really worth it. Druid isn't as fun without massive poison nova. I mean, I'm still enjoying them. There's the druid, you know, this is, this is what you get with the druid. But it's time to find Indario for sure. There we go. I love that you can just stun the shaman so they just stop. Get him! Now remember, like we talked about before, bugging in Dariel in Nightmare is a separate affair, but is also super important to do. If you ever want to farm Nightmare and Dariel. And let me tell you, this is the easiest place to farm SOJs. Nightmare and Dariel. So, if you want to farm SOJs, Great place to do so. Go in, kill Nightmare and Dario. Yeah, it's not 500 runs, I mean. If you spend all day farming, I'd say you could find an SOJ a day. If you spend like eight hours or something. Which is pretty good in Diablos. You know dropping terms. Maybe a little harder than that, but... Also, Amelia will often die here. That's just gonna happen. And if you really want, you can throw the bear up. He's gonna be a big old tanky boy. Easy. And just like that, give yourselves the clap. You have completed Act 1 Nightmare. Make sure to travel east, and now she is bugged. How easy was that? That was pretty nice. Okay, we'll get Emilio just so we can dump some stuff on the ground. Now, we're going to look for a mercenary. Now, defensive is possible because it gets you holy freeze, which is nice. But we're going to be looking for that offensive mercenary, Durga. As we want to get the Might Aura. Durga. So now we have Might Aura, and that is going to help all of our minions greatly. Additionally, we can start to take a look at what we have again. See if there's any boosts we want to make. Um, grandfather, nice and all. Tomb Reaver, Steel Goad. Didn't we have an insight in here? There it is. Perfect. So now, I guess we just, we can upgrade our mercenary's weapon. So insight is not actually that important for us right now in terms of like getting that meditation aura. 
much more useful for a caster of some sort, a sorceress or whatever it is. Also, this is ladder only. So, remember, if you are not on ladder, you cannot make this. But look at the runes, Raltir Tal Sol. Once again, all of those can be found. Nightmare Countess. Help so it's very nice. Me. Totally need to see this Diablo 10 inch bust on your live streams. Thank you, Shiny Fighter. Mwah, that goes to the bust fund. Um, but you can see it adds some nice damage to it. Bonus attack rating, the good ED, 237, what right? Like, it's very nice. So his damage is now spiked up a lot, and it's very helpful. Other items that can be useful. Let's really quickly. Just go here. Uh, let's see if I have anything made on this character for these pole arms. Nothing in there. Um, obedience is very nice. Obviously, this is a little bit later on, right? This is an cryptic axe. But Helco Thol Eth Fal. Not that crazy of runes. Look at the damage on this thing. 230 to 1057. Um, absolutely fantastic. Crushing blow on it. Get some all res, all sorts of stuff. Chance to cast and chant as well. Um, obedience is fantastic. So that's really nice. Eth Bone Hue, also a very nice item. It has the two open sockets, so you can put ams or shales or whatever you want into there. Um, let's go look at some of the lower level ones a little bit. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, any of these things can be nice early on, uh, whatever stuff. But uh, this one I love, the Pierre Tombal. I think this is a very good one. Required level 43, but very strong. Battle Branch is nice. Uh, Black Bleach is great. Black Leech. Um, this also has nice ED on it. These are all like level 44 required, right? Roughly, roughly around there. Uh, Reaper's Toll later on is nice. Level 75 required though. Uh, but you know, you get like an Ethwo Stav or a Meat Scraper has got really good ED on it as well. It has the Life Steal, which is super nice. Obedience might be later only, yeah. Um, so, you know, just kind of some random things to find along the way. Uh, but inside is generally going to be like your really solid one that you're going to kind of have right there. Now, there's also plenty of pikes. You got Soul Feast. That's a fantastic one. You get the, the Life Leech on it. Um, you know, this one, I don't know. Uh, Kelpie Snare. Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, I might shift this over to my Mercenary instead of the Insight. Because this has slows target by 75% on it. And it's just kind of disgusting. Just getting the slows target is so good. So this is uh, this is a very, very, very good item for it. Um, Spire of Honor is huge damage. It's level 39, so a little bit uh, higher up on the level. Hone Sundan, also very good. Has the Crushing Blow, has three open sockets on it. Nice damage on it as well. Um, so really, you can see that there's a lot of good options here. Uh, the Tanner Gorod even, not too bad, right? Look at the damage on that for Eth. Um, so, really a lot of good stuff for this character. Let's uh, continue. So, we'll give him the insight for now. But, just know there are a lot of options and ones you can go farm that uh, can really be good for the character. So, we've already bugged him, so everything's fine. We could save quit there. No worries. And let's get rid of that. Let's go turn this bad boy in. Now we have imbue quest later. And act two time. Yes, and getting him some sort of lifesteal is very useful. So something you can see is we don't have lifesteal currently, right? But, like, this has a socket. So we could try and shove some lifesteal in there if we wanted, right? Actually, Am's not going to have lifesteal on it for that, will it? 
Probably not for an armor. Yeah, it's attacker takes damage. Uh, that's better than a weapon. Um, but you're going to have lifesteal and other capacities uh, wherever you kind of want. And we can try and find something. Uh, see if we can get him like a helmet with lifesteal on it. That's got lifesteal. There we go. We'll give him an undead crown. There you go. Now he's got a little bit of lifesteal. Always helps out. Just keep him a little bit more survivable. And we move on through Act 2. And once again, another not crazy item. You can very easily do some Mephisto and Dario runs, things like that. And uh, very quickly find something with lifesteal. So with beetles like this, especially because his resistances are pretty low, um, I'm just going to kind of keep moving forward. He doesn't really have like a fantastic armor on or anything, so I kind of want to be careful with Durga. As I don't want him to be uh, getting shocked too much. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they're remastering it. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Now we go back to Stun City. And we can level up a little bit here. We're also pretty strong. So if we want, we can kind of move forward as well a little bit more. Um, and then try and get a little bit of the, the levels later on. Because we do have this Shockwave. And that is extremely helpful, right? So at this point, like I say, we can just say, hey... Let's not stop and kill all this stuff. If I see a good boss group, I'll stop and kill it. But other than that, I thought that was a little low. Let's, uh, you know, let's try and move forward. Get to Act Three. Act Three. Act Three. Flare Jungle is another one of those fantastic places to level. Um, just like we had in Normal, it's also good in Nightmare as well. Or try and just rush to Act Five, and then we can do Eldritch Farming again. Because once again. Eldritch farming is just good farming. It just it just ends up being really good experience. And there's no more like penalty for killing stuff too high. And uh, we aren't really gonna have too many issues with that stuff on this character. How hard was it to hide that detour was a thing? It was pretty difficult because everybody kept asking because all the leaks. And it was like, stop asking, please. And not just chat asking. Everybody. All of my streamer friends, they, I go on a podcast and they'd all want to talk about the rumors. And it's like, oh boy. <laughs> what can you say except, I don't know, maybe. I'll believe it when I see it. That's all I could say. Ladder only items should be available in single player too. I agree, because ladder only items are available in single player. It's just ladder only rune words that didn't make it down. Which to me says they just forgot to check the other box. <laughs> In you go. I mean everybody loves a big old bear running around with a bunch of summons. You know, I mean, that's just, that's just a fact. I think it's, it's a good idea. I mean, they don't want to have a bunch of injects. Does that make sense? Some of us just like a big old bear. I mean, who doesn't like a big old bear? You heard the rumors about D2 and its remaster, though. Are you serious? They're making a remaster? Wait, hold up. Is this like rumors or did it, is it confirmed? Where are we at? Give me more information. It's crazy. 
crazy. <sighs> Fresh meat. Nico, thank you. Mwah. Big kisses. Confirmed. Wow. That's huge. Man, I'd love to talk to the devs. Charity run for doctors that never got to have a brother. Well, surprising that you ask. Or mention that. Come on. What are you guys doing over here? Clean up that stuff already. Am I satisfied with the garlic? I love the garlic. A gift for you. Congratulations on full time. Thank you, house. I appreciate that. Thanks, raggets. 35 cold res ammy. Very nice. Also, just like you recast ravens, recasting your bear whenever you have a, a second and it's been a bit is never a bad idea. Just so you don't lose bear in the middle of a very important time. And once again, we'll continue summon direwolf. We're just going to keep bunt pumping that bad boy till it's maxed. Easy as that. How can I just pass by those pods without breaking anything? Sorry. You're gonna hate watching me speedrun. <laughs> when do you return to the COVID druid? Hmm. Um, well, we have this today and tomorrow. <sighs> Fresh meat. Ultra, thank you. Mwah. Appreciate that. Friday we have... Ah, dang it. Emilio. Oh wait, it's Durga. Playing a, another game on Friday. We're doing a couple things on Friday, but I have to remember what the other couple things are. Mm, this is too tight of an area. It's not going to be great for these guys. <sighs> Fresh meat. And JC, thank you to you both. Oh, Mister. Okay. Now let's go repair. Good day. And once again, this is where we could either repair it or let me show you. Ort rune, chipped, plus the item. Item with full charges. Wow. We just saved ourselves 70 grand. Easy as that. So good. Alright, 
blocking my way. Did I forget the staff? No, we're gonna go get the staff after. You can get in here without the staff, so. I'm just gonna go get the waypoint. Any chipped gem. Yeah, any chipped gem is possible with it. No repairing ethereal items, even with rune. Staff only doors a lie? Yeah. <laughs> Amulet gets you into the arcane. Let's move forward. Excuse me. Right, you guys get in here. <laughs> Doors are just the worst, man. I know, one one by one space minion bunching is the worst. Which is why we are not going to spend a lot of time down here. We will instead just be teleporting. <laughs> Remember, always go to the right of the way you come in. So this is the way I'm coming in to the top left, so I need to go to the top right. Your wife is just discovering what a D2 guy is like. She think he's hot. There's more to discover than meets the eye. No! Emilio, did you die again? Son of a gun. Derga. That's how you never stop. I want a little bit of experience, and this is what we got. Am I ever getting a DT tattoo? Probably not. Maybe we'll make some crazy bet eventually in the future. Yeah, just not a tattoo guy, you know? Garlic tattoo? <laughs> I feel like Diablo 2 tattoos would be pretty baller, though. A lot of them could be really cool. Good day. Oh, wait, we already... I look like a pretty chill guy. Good day. I like to think I'm a pretty chill guy. I know, Johnny. He just died too fast. <sighs> Fresh meat. Scorsian, thank you. What? Who opened the door? Ravens, did you open the door?
Trap assassin while leveling? Uh, I get a wand with lower resist charges on it. It's my favorite. <laughs> so, if you want to fight down here, you're totally welcome to do that. It's a little slower. Yeah, it's a nightmare mercenary. He's got that might aura. It's a little slower, but you know, you can do it. Or you can do what the pros do and just teleport through the whole place. Because, let's be honest, eh, it's just not the, the best area. Oops. Also, if you have decent FCR frames, then you can usually teleport through here without much issue. Gosh dang it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Third, fourth way. Oh wait, you should really shut off the prediction. Right? Can people still make predictions? What up, Doc? How? Every time! I swear to God. And that's why we teleport, because otherwise we're there for an hour. Fourth way. <laughs> I hate that all the doubters always get paid off. It's really an issue. Oh boy. Durga, come with me. You're gonna die there. <laughs> Can't predict and I still feel like I won. Come on. It's ridiculous. Alright. I might switch over to Oak Sage just to try and keep Durga alive. We'll see. He's having a little trouble here. Pays the IO doll bills. <laughs> Say no more. I understand. You wanna be careful not to overdo it on your like casting. You wanna make sure you're stunning, but every time you hit these guys, they're gonna release bolt, so. You want to actually be a little careful there. And this is what we do with our winnings. We put sunglasses on garlic. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. It's perfect. I'd expect nothing less. Uh, okay.
Okay. And just like that. Act two. Not too bad. Now this is where having a weapon with crushing blow on your mercenary helps a lot. So, that's the one unfortunate part. Mashed garlic. Go Durga! Durga's got uh, insight on right now. So it's got nice damage on it. But you know, he's gonna be slowed and everybody's slowed, so that always makes it harder. But once again, glitch mercenary. Much easier. Put a little hat on Daryl, that'd be cute. We explained it earlier, but exclamation mark, Merce bug. Should explain it. Basically, he won't be targeted. I don't think they will. I think it'd be silly to do so. There's a one point wonder. Not in summon build. If you use the Merc bug though, you will never find Mang Songs. So it has a place. <coughs> That's right. <coughs> Help me! Old Hephasto had a forge. I O I O doll. I O I O doll. Oh yeah, bear, bear is the one that gives the damage, and dire wolves give the life synergy. That's right. Regardless, this also boosts the damage when I put points into dire wolves, so we get both. Bears have innate crushing blow? No. Can't summon a bear. With a rune drop here and a gem drop there. There a rune, there a gem. If you put a bear out, you lose your wolves. So. Gotta take your pick. PD2, you can have all the things. I think 
it's great. I'm excited for it. I don't blame anybody for not knowing this stuff. The summon druid tree is not an off, often explored tree. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we don't do a lot there hey cudgel wow look at that i told you guys it is not crazy to find things that are good for this build like these are not crazy finds. Killing Mephisto a few times and Daryl a few times, you'll find these items. You'll find your Lord, you'll find the Dark Clan Crusher. Like these are very simple uh, items to find. Notches. So there you go. Scripted. Exactly. And we hit level 36, and congratulations, everybody. Hello. You have just beat Act 2. Now, Duriel is not who I would ever recommend to go farm. He's not a great farming individual. Just as a heads up. <laughs> but, uh, you know... You can still find some nice stuff off of him. Also, this is a great place to start looking for things like that. Better belts. Because my belt now is actually kind of out of date. So what I like to do is I like to go shop for a life belt. So that one has 38 to life. You can also get some nice faster run walk boots at this point. <laughs> And just look for a belt that is red. Hello. And you can find belts 60, 70 life. Good evening. Also big faster run walk. At level 36, you should be able to find 30 faster run walk boots. Welcome to the desert rain. Um you can find mix ones that are like fast run walk plus fire resist, things like that. Good evening. I wonder if I have better. And it's also a great place to shop like gloves with resistances and stuff. Like I don't need resistances right now, but if I did, that'd be a totally fine place to go shop then. Items you can shop is dependent on your level. Yes. And the level of the vendor. How do you have more than one summon? You can have more than one summon. It's just not all of the summons. There's specific, like, how you can have from each tree. There's 20 fast run rock boots, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll pretend like I found a new belt or something. Or maybe I'll just go grab a different belt. Try and think what belts I have that I'd want to put on. Uh, I don't know. What do you have for LT? No belts. Good to see you. Mm. Night smoke would be nice. Ten auras if I needed that. Gloom's trap. Fifteen vitality. Increase max mana. It's a little bit better. Cool. Make a little swap. And continue. Also, it gives us one more slot, which is nice. Add sockets to belts? No. What? You guys have some of the worst ideas. I swear to God. Why does everybody want power creep? This is how we end up with Diablo 3 doing a trillion damage. No. Sometimes you have to say no, chat. Pack 
Path of Exile. The whole screen blows up, exactly. I haven't played enough Grim Dawn. I've played more Titan Quest than Grim Dawn, actually. We have ten fingers, why not ten rings? Exactly. Okay, so this is our three, and it's going to kick out right, which means this is going to lead to somewhere. Will it be the Flare Jungle? Will it be the Great Marsh? It is the Great Marsh. Boo. But we can check in here and see what we got. Why not ten rings on my feetsies? I can wear multiple rings on the same finger. Why not that? <laughs> they would counter each other if they were too close. That's why you, they can't have more. I like it. How about a nose ring, though? Nose ring, toe ring. Those aren't too close. Got him. Did I tell Blizzard 1.4 is a bad idea? No, I think it's a fine idea. Belly button ring of Stone of Jordan. Hey Justin, how you doing? Let's grab a little bit of gold. I mean, people be piercing everything nowadays, so who knows? <laughs> Enigma is bad. Enigma is a very core part of a lot of the game, especially dueling. Dueling without Enigma equals Boazon and Sorceress and I mean there's just nothing like It's pretty rough. <laughs> Pretty sure Sorceress is dominated. Before dueling was a thing. Or before Enigma was a thing. So yeah, Enigma has its downsides, but it's got a lot of upside too. It's it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Let's get the stamina. I mean, that would be the point. I hope that they remove enough bots, that there's not enough currency and items going around to sustain, and then things have more of a real value instead of, you know, well, bots find 50 Shakos, so Shakos are really cheap and everybody has it. I mean, my biggest complaint about Enigma isn't the teleport, it's that they, they gave it so many other awesome things as well. <laughs> That's my biggest complaint. I'm like, give us the plus teleport, but don't give us the magic find and the plus to skills and the plus to strength. And, and it's like high values, the faster run walk, like everything's so good. That's my biggest complaint with it. Make it a little bit worse. Yeah, DR, percent vital. I mean, it's. It's silly. They went a little ham on it. Dang, goofball, sick.
started speedrunning. Have a chill to three hours. Any percent Java's on. It's nice. Fun. Thanks for the teaching. GG, bud. That's awesome. Fresh meat. With the 5,000 bits. Wow. Wow. Mwah. Big kisses to you. And greedy beady, thank you. We're having a wonderful day. Hot dang, right? This is not PD2. Uh no. I I I love scarcity. I don't think everybody should get Enigma. I don't think everybody should get all the things and all that stuff. I think having a bunch of high runes and yeah, casual players will yell at me and they'll be like, he only says that because he plays it all the time. I can only play one hour a month and that's not fair. I should get Enigma. You know, alright. You go ahead and have your little, you know, complainy fest about it all. Um But Make a rare item be rare. Like, I, I even... Yeah, okay, I'll get it, whatever. But, like, dang, man. Make it be rare. Like, it's it's awesome when it's a rare item. It makes it so much cooler when even the casual player goes out and finds a, a jaw rune or a burr rune. You know, whatever stuff. Like, even if they can't make a whole enigma, like, all that stuff just becomes so much cooler. Oh, we gotta go back out that way. That's right. I know life the game. Of course I'm going to have the best loot. But I'm going to have all that stuff anyways. And you know what? I still think it can be possible and viable for a casual player to get this stuff. But when you make those things rare, it's just so much better. It makes the game so much more fun in my opinion. Like, even when I played through a lot of PoE, not having... A headhunter. Just the chase for the headhunter was really fun. I just loved trying to get a headhunter. I would go into the Xana maps or whatever and try and roll for headhunters and yeah, you know, just have fun going after it. In fact, I never got it. Didn't matter. I mean, somebody gave it to me eventually, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really use it. I just kind of messed around with it, but... Oh no, I don't like when all the items are easily available. Then you end up with how it is kind of now, where everybody has Enigma. Everybody, you know, everybody just has everything, and it's, it makes it a little bit worse. That's why I like single player. You know how hard it is to get, like, good stuff in single player? It takes a while. Even getting things like Shaco and stuff, you're like, yeah, baby, Shaco! You get super excited about it. Also, guys, note, um, you know, you can start picking up, like, armors like this and looking for, like, three open socket armors, whatever stuff. If you want to make a rain, we talked about that before. That can be really good, plus two to druid skills. Great for this character. You'd need a Mal rune, but hey, maybe you can find a Mal rune somewhere early hell or whatever it is. Um, if you want to make just even like a treachery, that can be a nice armor just to have for a little more survivability. A smoke and a two open socket can be good, gets you 50 all res. Um, definitely look at some of those mid um, rune like items. There's a lot of really decent stuff there. And you can see, I don't even really bring ravens out that much. They do 7 to 9 damage, so their damage is pretty much falling behind a ton. Um, you can bring them out if you want. They are s going to be slightly added DPS. But for the most part, I run around with my spirit, my wolves, and my Durga. And with those three things, I mean, you know, we, we, we take things out pretty well. That's true, Snuggly Bear. This is true. <laughs> oh, 
But like, this is a nice, smooth build, you know? I feel like that's the easiest way to put it. It's just a nice, smooth build to play through. It's pretty chill. You don't run into crazy worry all the time. Miss Symbol! And once again, Dire Wolf and Vitality. Thank you, 100 bones. Dang it, Durga. Ah, he got fired to death. Hell is worse. Yes. Come back this way. Yes, it is. But halfway through Nightmare. Six hours. Really doing okay. I mean, yeah, we've, you know, got a couple little things going with the gear, but uh, not even anything that crazy. You can farm this, you can farm this. Like, all that stuff can be found doing cows and doing, uh, night, like, uh, nightmare tower and stuff, so. Yes, there are some Fizz Immunes in Hell. This is the thing. Physical Immunes are going to be your downfall with this build. That's a good point. I'll talk about it again probably when we get to Hell. So what do we do? We skip them. Remember, we do not have to kill every single monster in the game. When you get to the Physical Immunes, you just don't fight them. Not exactly, Dad Spiff. It's a little. I haven't updated it enough, so it's kind of got some stuff, but not fully. I actually don't mind the immunes. I. Uh, surprisingly. A lot of people hate immunities because it's really hard, and it is really hard. Uh, and it's completely shutting out, which I understand. I, I kind of wish immunes were like 90% or something. But I guess the reason that I like immunes is because when I look at so many other games that don't have immunities, they just, everything gets steamrolled. You know? It's like, they try and make it so that, but there's never, like, enough difference in monsters, you know? And that's one of the things about Diablo 2. All of the monsters are so different, and all of the areas, based on what kinds of immunities can spawn on the monsters there, are so different. And it creates this really, like, interesting, like way that you have to create your character, deal with the scenarios, you can't just run in and steamroll everything. And in all those other areas, I just see players in all the other games, they walk in, and they steamroll. They walk in, and they steamroll. Ooh, one to druid skills, and one to summon grizzly. So once again, okay, you don't have a lore, that's just as good, right? Like... I mean, you get, you get another point in Summon Grizzly as well. It's amazing. You can find all sorts of stuff. Just pick up these pick up these helmets and all that stuff. Like, there's so much good stuff. So, yeah. Every game has kind of... No other game has dealt with immunities in a great way. Where I've walked in with a character that does cold damage. And there's a bunch of monsters that take cold damage. And I've gone... Okay, I'm just gonna... You know, I've never thought, oh, I'm not going to clear these with cold damage. I'm going to find some other way to deal with them. No, you just blast them a little bit more. You don't even care what the monster, you know, you just, you know, you still kill them with your cold damage. So that's what I love about Diablo 2 is, for the first time, or the last time, whatever it is, you actually have to kind of think and change up your style against these types of monsters. Or run past them. That works too. But then it's danger of running past them. So, 
You know, like, I'm, I'm cool with that. That adds its own sense of danger. You don't know what's always behind it. So I think having very high resistance monsters, like very high, could be nice. Well, then you have to keep your mercenary alive, get your mercenary to deal with it, whatever. It's just a different way to have to deal with a monster. And I really like that. And for, yeah, for group play, you consider multiple styles as well. Characters that counter, help out, you know. Pretty sure Goldstar is going to die here really soon. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll stay alive. Okay, he didn't get hit by the bolts. Can you farm monarch shields? Uh, normal or hell cows? You can only farm them in hell. So hell cows is a um, like great place to go farm them. But also in just any of those like high level areas that works too. So so many cold res rings. That's all I can find. So I'm not saying immunities are perfect, I just feel like every other game that hasn't had immunities has been worse for it. Durga, again. I didn't have my sage up. Uh, it's another lightning enchant. Too many lightning enchants. Uh, not yet. I'll see what my team plans are and everything for what character I want to roll. Reflect elemental damage? I mean, PoE does that and it's horrible. Reflect is like one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I just don't think about it, Ra. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've just never seen a, a better idea come to light. So. Or one actually get put in place. Mental damage on monster triggers and elements fill the same element. It's getting complicated. So now we can start pumping up Grizzly. That increases our damage every time, 10%. So that's going to be very nice now that they got a lot of life on them. my mercenary? Uh, no, I don't. Have them fix the error calculation. 
Nah, it's just par D2. You know? Too many too many changes. We're getting too far away from it. No, a towel is death mask. But even that's too high of a level requirement. What Diablo hero would I cosplay? I'd love to be Tyrael, but God, that outfit would be uh, crazy. Stopping boss shake? All right, I'd be down for that. <laughs> Screen shake gets a little annoying. <laughs> Better ring? Ugh, garbage. Cannot get the rings. Put away a couple more rejuves. Cool. Always cosplay a sorceress. <laughs> Too sexy. Xenos guy <sighs> cosplay garlic. Fresh meat. Way too sexy. Also, just as a reminder, if you come here, bring keys, and um, do players eight, right? Like we did before. Oh. I don't know why that's not saved. But do like players eight. I did not know you could get burned by that fire. You can get awesome drops from these. There's tons of charms that can drop here. This is a great place to find skiller GCs. Um, there are, oh man, I mean, you can just get everything. You get charms, gems, runes, all of the good stuff is there. So, not Mang Songs, no. If you cosplay L6, you can make up war series all day and people will believe you. That's true. I need to get uh, our mercenary. The armor stands for socket armors. What? So, there's a lot of juicy stuff down in there that is very, very nice. Would recommend going after. And you can find two of those camps. Remember, I have a whole video on lower cost farming. You can do it in normal nightmare hell. But like I say, the best place to get skillers in this game is nightmare um, lower cost. It's the easiest place to get them. Plus gems and other charms and runes and like I said, all those other things. Why Nightmare? Because that is the earliest spot. Basically, the earliest you can find grand charms with plus to skills on them is in um, the Great Marsh of Nightmare Act 3. So that's the earliest you'll find it without then running into the idea of um, finding it, finding like other things as well, right? You're, you're getting the other affixes the more you level up, or the higher level area you farm, I should say, not more you level up. <laughs> God, smugly. Please, no. Can any GCs be rolled, re rolled into skillers? No, the GC has to at least be found there. So. Mr. Lama D2R name change. <laughs> this is Pluggy Mod for the shared stash. That is correct. You will not get 45 lifers, the highest lifers, whatever, but if you want a skill GC. I'm not talking about all of the life on it. Because, yeah, if you want the higher life, then you're going to have to go further on. 
but then you get more affix rolls as well, and so once again, it's harder to get a skiller, so it's just depending what you want. And on D2JSP, eh, it's just not fun. I mean, I, I did D2JSP for a bit, way back in the day. Um, you know, I get it, but ultimately I found it to be boring. And once again, you can also come back here and farm if you want to continue farming in like the Curse Bazaar or something. Where's Durga at? How is he taking so much damage? I don't even know where he was. But regardless, I, JSP I always just found to be really boring. Like, it takes away a lot of the fun in Diablo 2. Some people be like, no, that is the fun. Like, you go and you can Late get all your party, stuff, but, but you know, you just kind of like, it takes away the fun of ladders and seasons. Lord Goldemart, thank you so much, which is one of the best parts of the game. When a new ladder starts and that jaw rune drops and you've got it and whatever stuff or any of that stuff. But here it it takes all that away. Oh, they're attacking the physical mode. Um, and so the ladders don't matter. So you just... You just go get it whenever you want. And you just buy whatever you want. And, and then it encourages all the botters to bot so they can make forum gold. And I don't know. It just ends up being really lame overall. I mean, Nightmare Cows is still fine for skillers, but Nightmare LK runs is you get a, you can get a decent amount of grand charms doing that for sure. What's JSP? It's just like a trading forum that's off, like non Battle.net approved or whatever. Like some some users created a trading forum, and you go and they've got their own like currency, and so you just trade like your stuff for the currency and back and forth. So people bought a lot, get a lot of stuff, and then trade all that stuff on JSP, make that currency, and then they can buy whatever they want in JSP, in the future D2, and other servers, and other games, whatever stuff. But, regardless, like I say, I just love playing like single player, so this is why I play single player as well. I don't have to worry about all that stuff. And when I find something awesome in single player, I am like ecstatic, you know? I get to have the best time of my life. And so, <laughs> this is, that's kind of why I went to single player. One of, the, one of the reasons. Wasn't as exciting to find cool stuff on ladder anymore, because all the bots had found 50 of it already. But single player? Oh yeah, baby. Plus, you get to use so many more cool items. D two R soul self found ladder would be cool. It would be cool. <clears throat> Didn't seem like something that they would be doing though. Have you found every single item in the game, single player? One left. Ming Song's lesson. Alright, come on. Cross the bridge, you guys. D3 resurrected yet? Oh, God. Never ever found Mang Song, so that's correct. Never have I ever. <laughs> Glad ladder only runer to single player detour. I think we will eventually convince them to do so. That is my assumption. I 
I think a lot of people will say, yeah, we just want that. Otherwise, we're just going to put Pluggy in. So just make it so I don't need Pluggy. Give me a shared stash. Give me the, you know, advanced stats. Give me the, what? I don't need Pluggy anymore. Give me, you know, the Ubers and stuff. I mean, we can already get keys in normal. Why can't I do Ubers in normal? Diablo 2. Doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna definitely have all that feedback. Durga! Thank you very much for the sub. And Xenos guy, thank you for the three gifted subs from before. I know I kind of like bounced in the middle of it to explain something. Mwah. Appreciate that, you guys. Get him, puppers. Hey, Mr. Llama hey. SC, I got a new question, sorry. What's when that? you ball run with your friends on multiplayer, how mm -hmm. do I ball run on normal so I still can find normal games instead of nightmare games? I am so confused. Don't wanna go nightmare, but my friend and I want to grind. You cannot. So this is something that they're gonna fix. They're gonna change that in uh, the resurrected. If you go to nightmare, you can't see normal games though. You'll have to log into another character, look at games there. Durga, I swear to God, if you die. Or create your own bail game and select normal, but then you might be, well, you know, people might come in and expect you to teleport or something, so. But they're gonna fix that in Resurrected, so. Just know that much. Good morning, Mr. Llama. Good morning, How is retired Anel. life so far? Just rewatched your Diablo 1 playthrough. Ever think about streaming that again? For sure. D1's great. Super fun. I'm sure we'll do some more D1 in the future at some point. Get him, pups. Get him. Help me. You are the best man. I tried to Google it for answer. I was wondering what if you just kill the mobs, ball spawn, then quit the game? Does yep. that maybe work? Yep. P.S. As love long as you don't kill Bale. And the fact are always smiling. Thank you. Hey man, always something to smile about somewhere, you know? And I summon the bear because I got my woofs. Who needs a bear when you got perfectly good woofs, huh? Wish I could do something about it. Why not two SOJs? I mean, we could put two SOJs on. I was just trying to keep the gear a little bit more like reasonable to what you, they might farm for i mean it's not you know Help impossible me. and you are the reason we smile here in your chat ah danka yeah exactly woofs not woofs you got it Help 
Would I like a donkey in D2 as extra storage? I do love my donkey in Dungeon Siege. But no. Will they change Uber Diablo spawning? No, I mean, they'll have to change a little bit behind the scenes because global server, but they're going to try and keep it essentially the same. Will I finish Dungeon Siege? How far was I in it? I think I was pretty far, right? I was like 70% of the way through. Play one more play session and it's done. You enjoyed me getting angry at the donkey? If he would have just been a regular donkey and done things right. Oh boy. Uh, this is going to take a little bit. Um, Alright. Let's... Grab Durga. Okay, get some birds. Let's see if we can get a couple mauls off with crushing blow here. Our chance to hit is 9%, so that's good. And then we have a 25% chance after that. Durga, get on him. Come on, I just want one crushing blow hit. Make him feel good. It's not happening. I'll just be a big old tanky bear that stands in the way. That's okay. Sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, I will just take, accept my role as Big Daddy Chungus. Uh, I think they said they still want to do SOJs and stuff. So, I mean, once again, we'll, we'll see how things go. They can always change it if it's not working. Um, all right. Let's just go back. <laughs> hey, Kajin, how you doing? Durga! I'll protect you. Let me stand in front of you. No, Durga! Look at that cast speed, though. It's all right. Go, my little wolves, go! Oh, I hate that animal. Kazik, thank you for the gifted sub to Ashley. Kesich gifted a tier Kesich. one sub to a polar one. Thank you, thank you. Come on. Hang in there. I like the stock. Chain boots again. Ah, fresh meat. Again, chain boots, you guys. And congratulations, Act Three. Well done.
How nifty was that? Plus, look at that. You got yourself a little woe stab. You got yourself a face of horror. Very nice. Ten Ares. And we back B A A A A B Y. And we back, baby. Thanks, Ketchup. Thank you, Plasma. Let's get Durga back. And. A couple retubes. Cool. You did it, chat. It's true. Easy Act 3. And we're almost level 40, so that's super uh, helpful and easy. <sighs> Fresh meat. Wow. Kazi gifted, gifted sub to, to Slimzy. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. You really just don't run into, like... Uh, issues with levels and stuff. I, f I feel like when you get to Nightmare. Things just get a lot easier for gaining experience, and it's a lot more natural of, with your progression. Normal always is a little off, I, I feel like. No souls, no souls, no souls. Quick visual. No soul, no soul, and quick visual. Perfect. Wow, well that was convenient. Should they alter or move experience scaling? No, I mean it's there for a reason, even though it kinda sucks. Still scripted. Ah, uh, see, after that, I, I believe why you guys say that. This is not the Poison Nova Druid. There's a different Druid. Much less happy playing this street. I'm having a great time. We are, we are still working it, and it hasn't hit the terrible part of it yet, where it becomes miserable. So while that's going on, we're great. All right. So now we can go bear and bear. We can just keep stacking the damage up. Always good. Nice. Thirty k more. And we head on over. Wow. You could not ask for a better, like, whole setup of all of that. That was ridiculous. Uh, doing Nightmare Forge can be really good. Uh, you can get up to an Umrune on that. Additionally, you can get things like Lemrune and Falrune and all sorts of things that can get you really nice items. Is this guy just a big bear? That is correct. I am not a cat. Language, please, piece of panic. Oopsies. Fresh meat. Stun the world. 
I need about 420, thank you very much. More points there, and our summons are moving, baby. We are moving and grooving. Look at those bad boys. Jump, jump, jump. What up? Excuse me. Time to barrel through chaos. Oh, <laughs> nice. You don't hear that, that bear pun too often here. I like it. All right. So now we're going to teleport in. Of course, we do have these guys. They can knock us unconscious or stun us. So, ooh, just barely got past them. Just a way to save a little bit of time. Res is still not great. Finding yourself your mercenary a little bit better gear also is very helpful. Like he still has pretty garbage that we've given him. So if you can find him, farming Nightmare Mephisto is a fantastic place to farm. You can get Daryl Shell, all sorts of stuff like that, and that'll just make him uh, super awesome. So highly recommended. How does it feel by doing this full time? Do I miss any part of my other job? I mean, I really liked the people that I got to work with at my other job. That's one thing that, uh, you know, I'm always going to miss that. I, I had really, like, they were funny. They were relaxed. They were, you know, I, I just got to work in a really cool group of people. And uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll miss working with all of them for sure. But... You know, I mean, I have a cool chat as well. So, you know, I have cool people I get to hang out with here as well. You know, so it's not like there's no cool people here. It's just like I had cool people in both places. Um, so, you know, so I like all them. Uh, but I am not going to miss the, like, politics of just, you know, ratings and having to, like, do all the goals and set up your future career and all that stuff and just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Ratings, not rating. I wish we did rating. So, it just was not my favorite. <laughs> you know? I just wanted to go in and do my work and call it good. That was... That's that's what I just wanted to do, you know? Sprints, agile, somebody coming in and taking over on some project or something who doesn't know what they're doing. Customer who has no clue what they're asking for. I mean, you know, the list goes on. There's a lot of stuff that's just like, I just want to sit and do my job, man. <laughs> like, go in, build some cool dashboards, do some cool analytics, language. call this it good. This is a family-friendly stream. We want younger kids to also have easy access to Llama's stock advice. That's right, well. <sighs> fresh meat. Uh, yeah, you good for this weekend, BYD? I'm just checking to see if I get sick or not. After Kylie's stuff. That's the only reason I haven't, like, put it on there. Spiky Ghost, thank you. Wait till I go through chat's end of your performance review. Oh, God. You're quitting a software dev job of six years on Monday. Basically how it went. Ooh, don't like that. So, you yeah. know. Did, did BI for 10 years, just wanted to write code and build reports, yeah. And they just don't let you. There's so much other stuff. Nah, no, I did BI reporting. Data analytics. Well, data science.
Okay, sounds good, be ready. We can see Raggets or Todd or someone do another split on that. Oh, you're a web dev at Fang? Nice. Good money. Not great soul. <laughs> no soul. <laughs> Stop it, stun them all. Durga! Oof. Too many minions in there. So yeah, you know, just the way it all goes. Corporate. But I was, you know, very thankful and very happy to have, like, that for, uh, you know, that part of my life and stuff. Like, because I was able to have a job like that, I was able to save away money, have something stable, all of that, while I built my stream. So, you know, I'm very, like, appreciative of everything from there. Because Woof's better than Bear. And my rap career. And my rap career! That's right! Lest we forget. My rap career. I'd say don't quit your day job, but <laughs> Bear is tankier, but Bear doesn't do enough damage. Look at that damage. 428 to 502. These guys do 257 to 276 times three, and then if they eat a corpse, times two. So, bear's good and all, but you just get more damage from over here. Really call yourself a summoner if you're not summoning everything. Yeah, I am. This is all I can summon. I mean, I could summon a vine. I do summon my ravens. Not even death can save you from me. The nice thing about the nightmare guys is they will generally be underneath his beam and so his beam won't actually hit. So the fire, you have to be careful, but his lightning beam won't actually hit there. Let's get them all going. It's 
slow and steady. If I had crushing blow, it'd be a little faster. Or if I gave my mercenary crushing blow. That's where that can be helpful. We will get him some sort of crushing blow uh, later on. I mean, Insight is nice damage, but it doesn't have Crushing Blow. This is also where something like Guillaume's face could come into play, so maybe we'll just go give him that. Let's see, what level is he? 40? Six hundred by eight hundred. Easy. Easy peasy. And congratulations. As easily as that. He has 113 strength, just shy. You have completed. Act for Night's Man. Are you enjoying working on Diablo now? Hobo. I am a, a hobo now. Technically correct. Hmm. Could just give him gaze. Get some DR and some more lifesteal than what he has. Can't quite use it yet. Eh. I don't know where my Guillaume's faces are. I feel like I have like 10 of them there. They're on some character. Why is Act 5 so short? They had to rush the game out. <laughs> yeah, peace. That's actually the true story of it. They were getting to the point where the game needed to be released and Act 4 wasn't quite done, so they just said, alright. We'll just cut it at into that. Honestly, I think it ends up fitting fine. Because the Chaos Sanctuary is such a, like, you know, I mean, obviously you can play through it well, but there's plenty of times where Chaos Sanctuary is just like, and you just spend so much time there. Do I know what they cut? I, I don't know if they even developed what else they were going to put there, you know? No, I doubt they'll add in an Act 4. I think what we could maybe, maybe eventually try and look at, if this all goes really well, is them throwing some sort of Act 6 down somehow, you know. I think that's what we would get. Potentially. Or just some more, like, endgame content somehow. Where would you have Act 6? I don't know. I don't do lore. D2 rifts? Don't even start. <laughs> oh my god. So now we are at this point where, of course, you can do the same exact thing that we did in normal if you would like, which is just come out here 
and kill these baddies. If you want to increase the players as well, feel free to do that. Rinse and repeat. And uh, this can be a great way to level up as high as you want to level. Now, you can also, of course, level up doing bail runs, things of that nature, if you're somehow not 40 right now, which would be crazy. Um, you know, then you can level up here to 40. But honestly, this is a great place to just level up even further, right? Like, you, you can just do so much right here. So if you want to spend that time leveling there, like 45, 47, 48, 50, whatever you want. It's a very easy area to do so. Um, and I, I totally get it. So that is a nice option to consider if you just want to gain more of those levels like we did in normal. If you spend an hour there, you can gain, you know, seven, eight levels, whatever it is. And just be a little bit stronger going forward. That'd be cool, Zeon. Go, bear, go. Points in bear. Points in vitality. And once we have bear maxed, we'll just have to look at either putting more in spirit wolf, which will give us more uh, attack rating and defense. Or we can look at putting those points into um, Heart of the Wolverine to get more attack and damage right there, right? While that's up. So both are viable options once you've maxed out these two. How about a Wear Llama, right? So I'm waiting on. And here's where I say, like, plated belts and stuff. This is why I go to 60 strength. Because you can get really nice belts. I mean, that one is, you know, okay. But you can find really nice rare belts and things. My belt right now is very, you know, mediocre. It's basically just 15 vitality and a little bit of mana. <laughs> nice audio. Garlic vine. But I mean, overall, look at this. We are at the end of Nightmare just about. Seven hours right now? Level 42? Yeah, we've got a little bit of gear that helped us along the way, but... I haven't put on SOJs, I haven't put on, you know, all sorts of uh, whatever crazy things. Some basics. I mean, this kind of, this shows that even with these sorts of builds, you can still end up. Oh, Durga. Doing some good uh, damage and making your way through. Viper Magi, best in slot? Nah. I mean, it's good. Rain would be better for the plus two to all skills. Anything plus two to all skills is going to be better than this. Additionally, honestly, Spirit Shroud would be really nice considering it has um, Cannot Be Frozen, which could be helpful. But this does have the res and the FCR, which eh, kind of helps a little bit with some of the teleporting. You know, there's, there's some benefit for sure. It's not like it's a bad armor. It's definitely a good armor. But it's not that hard to get, which is why I'm using it right here. Diablo building for fire hydrosaurus. Oh god. 
So that's the main reason I'm using it. All of these things are pretty, like, easy. Spend a little bit of time and you can go get them. Once again, if you know your maps, there's a little shortcut right here on this one. You can skip a lot and get right to the end. Charged Bolt Sorceress. She's actually pretty good. And if you have like high plus skills, Charged Bolts can actually wreck later on. Like, I love using no Durga Charged Bolts against uh, like the Ubers and stuff. It's actually really strong. I don't have any tattoos. Not a, not a tattoo guy. Yeah, I, I like the idea of bringing it to console. I think it's interesting. Definitely gonna not be quite as perfect, but whatever. You know, like I say, you can run Mephisto runs and stuff on it. That sounds fun. Do I want one? Nah. Like I say, just not a tattoo guy overall. Never really been my thing. I was I introduced to D2? Oh, when I was probably 11, I think it was like 2001. My best friend, his dad, loved playing video games. And him and all of his brothers. And they come by every now and then. They might be in here, maybe not. Um, but we used to go over there and just LAN up whatever games. Diablo 2, Counter-Strike, StarCraft, Warcraft, you know, whatever games. We just, we played them all. Um, and uh, Diablo 2, like I said, was one of them. And man, we just fell in love. So we would just have giant LAN parties. And Do they still might play the game? Yeah, like I said, they, they're, uh, like a couple of the brothers are subs here and stuff. So, hey, Command and Conquer. Oh, we didn't really play Command and Conquer there, but I mean, I've played Command and Conquer. But just so much stuff. Some Unreal Tournament. If they were to start a new IP, oh, I have no. I, I can't tell you what their next IP should be. No clue at all. You tell me. What sounds cool? I mean, they cover, what are they not covering? They've got card games. They've got their MOBA. It's not my favorite MOBA, hey. but they have a MOBA. They've got strategy games. They've got first person shooter. Um, Starcraft Ghost, that'd be fun. Thank you, Spawn, for 27 months. No survival game, no battle royale yet. Do we need more battle royales? I feel like we're kind of exhausting ourselves on them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab the Ancient's Way Waypoint. Just because it gets a little spicy in here. 
and at the Ancients, and beyond the Ancients, and without that waypoint, you can be a little far away from getting some, uh, getting back to where you are, just in case of death or whatever. The SC in my name stands for StarCraft, because I knew when I was younger, I was going to grow up and become a professional StarCraft player. And here I am. Almost nailed it. This close. <laughs> I play Protoss in uh, StarCraft 1 and Zerg in StarCraft 2. Have you seen Luck be a landlord? It's like Slay the Spire and a slot machine? I have not. Alright. Let's uh, do this. So, the first thing I will say is, if you are going to do this fight... First off, I probably don't need all these mana. I'll get some more health. Um, you can fill your cube up with potions. Always a great way to do it. That way, if you need some more potions, you can just get them. But additionally... Bug your mercenary, per usual. Just so they don't target him. Starcraft has speedruns? Yeah, I used to speedrun Starcraft. I did a little bit. Um, and then... We're also going to get him some sort of crushing blow. Now, what do we mean with get him some sort of crushing blow? Because there's various kinds. Well, I'm happy that you asked. The first would be a simple one, which is Amrun and Tyrun. This is called Strength. It'll get you a 25% crushing blow weapon. It can be put, I believe, in any melee weapon. Um... And so you can just get a spear, or you can get a pike, or you can get uh, whatever two open socket melee weapon. Put that in it, give it to him, that will be beneficial. Additionally, you could find something like a rattle cage for him, right? So rattle cage is going to be an armor. Let's see if I have one here. That's Taurasha's. Dang it. All my stuff is too good over here. Rattle cage? Nope. Rattle? I thought I was throwing those away. Uh, all right. Well, pretend like there's a rattle cage in here. You could get rattle cage. You could find Guillaume's face for him. You could get um, anything that's going to be a crushing blow weapon, helmet, yeah, armor, something like that. Give that to him. And he will crushing blow some dudes, to put it lightly. Let's see if I can find Guillaume's face at all in here. I mean, it has to be in here. Where could I have put it? Oh, there it is. It's not. Veil of Steel. Veil of Steel, come on. There it is. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. So, you know, you find whatever you want with that. And you can give that to him. Is he still cold? Welcome that has to be a visual bug. That's pretty funny. Okay. We got all our stuff. He's just that cool. Repair. And we can head in and go fight the ancients. 
Ooh, extra fast is not my favorite. So, for instance, let's take a look at what we just got. We had extra fast Talic. We had Madoc was lightning enchanted. There was mana burn as well. Overall, I just didn't want to fight all of the terribleness that was those things. So, if you ever have that happen, just open a portal, reset it until you get a better spawn. All right, we have lightning enchant again. I don't want that because that's going to kill Durga. Stone skin immune to physical. I don't want that. Immune to physical. Remember, we don't want any of those stone skins. Fire enchanted, cursed, and aura enchanted. We've got them stunned. Perfect. I have to be careful because Talik's doing a ton of damage. So let's get Madoc dead. Cool. Get our puppies back. And you really want to be sure that you're not letting him teleport uh, or spin onto your mercenary too much. You kind of want to take some of those hits yourself. You got to be very careful because you don't want to lose your mercenary. So it looks like he's actually holding up quite all right here. Which is good to see. He's a tanky boy. So Cursed is very difficult. I wouldn't recommend going against Cursed. And of course, when you have something like Fire Enchant, you need to make sure you're not standing right next to him when he dies. Otherwise, he will explode and do a ton of life. Or a ton of damage, I should say. So be very careful with that. Just always be ready to give health potions and, of course, uh, rejuvenation potions to your mercenary whenever you need. But there you go. You can stun them. It won't always guarantee a stun, but you can stun a majority of the time. And there you go. How simple was that? How how easy was that, you guys? Uh, let's go ahead and get the curse off of our heads. Just for the sake of, you know, not being cursed. We'll do that as well. And it is time to go forward. Uh-oh. I do not want to deal with champion death lords, so I'm going to teleport away from those. When I think of a good time, that is not the monster that I think of. And you can't even stun it that often. More champion death lords. Alright, we're just going to do a little teleporting action here. Okay, so getting waypoint will not only be good for if we want to do bail runs, but it will also be good for um, just in general. In case we need to reset or whatever stuff happens, right? Per usual. Just like we got the Ancient's Way waypoint. This is another one that's good to get. We'll just run around and look for it. Join my Abel. Why can't the dire wolf eat the corpse of the vine? Good question. 
Unless that's a joke you're trying to tell me. Sounds like a setup to a joke. <laughs> okay, so we get the waypoint. It's not. Oh. Because they're friends? Yeah. experience in here I love like the world stone keep when you just get not death lords and souls because there's really especially this like greater hell spawns they're really worth a decent amount of experience and it's not too scary especially if you've got a little crowd control and you can get you know you can level up a decent amount just like killing stuff on your way don't even have to be going all crazy with it Kill some basic bosses, kill some monsters, whatever stuff. Help or me. dolls. Dolls after are. After the D2 yeah. remaster announcement, I returned to D2 after eight years and with your vids have been having a blast. Thanks, Chance. I just got to Nightmare on my melee barb and I'm getting my butt kicked. Have any good farming locations to help get ready for Nightmare? Um, If you can farm Nightmare and Dariel, you can find some nice stuff there. Normal Mephisto and Endario, though, you can get things like Blood Fist, which will be really nice if you don't have Blood Fist already. Um, if you're looking for, like, weapons and stuff, you'll probably want to go after, like, Nightmare and Dario. You can also make yourself a Strength and a Black if you're doing the Tower, which helps. Uh, so getting Countess, you know, you can make a Lore Helm. Um, all, all sorts of things like that. I have I have my guided playthrough for Frenzy. Is, is that what you're playing? Yeah, probably. I've got a guided playthrough for Frenzy where I talk kind of a little bit more about all those things. Yeah, remember to bug Andy. For show. Excuse me. When will I finally give you guys my OnlyFans? Oh, I thought you already had it. Oh no. Oh boy, souls. Gosh dang it. Stupid souls. Okay, well souls suck, as we all know. Dark Lords are also pretty tanky, so they're kind of annoying. Come on. Come on, there you go. Get on that soul. I play Potter PD too. And I've played both. Soldier is very strong. They can also be bugged with like dual enchant stuff, but Just get really nasty. Still going? Heck yeah, man. Nightmare. Yeah, it goes. How you doing, BT? When's BT Summoner Druid? Black tooth. I agree, Chip. Does this build actually work in hell? 
What do you define as work? I feel like we need to define that more. I guess we'll uh, figure it out. So nasty. All right, let's see if we can. Okay, we got it mostly stunned. Durga needs to stay alive though. Don't get in the bolts, Durga. Don't you dare stand in the bolts, Durga. I swear, are you in the bolts again? Gosh dang it, Durga. You're standing in the bolts, aren't you? Yeah. Get him. Nice. Whew. Gotta really like help jump in front and save him a little bit. All right, remember wave four, we just drag. Oh, Durka ran a little bit ahead. How are you still taking damage, Durga? Durga just dead. All right. We're just gonna let him die. He did this to himself. It's his own fault. I feel no remorse. No remorse at all. I was shift wanting. That's all I was doing was giving the guy potions. All right, now let's go get Durga again. So expensive. Hello. What build have you never played? Bladeson? I did a Bladeson once. Actually, not terrible. I was so surprised. Like, it was... It was decently strong. I w I kind of wanted to make a blade sword or blade sin after that. Yeah, it was fun. Like I actually really enjoyed the blade sin. Yeah, in hell it kind of falls off, but I think I played it all the way through nightmare. If I'm not mistaken. How's it compared to this character? Probably similar. What's a blade sin? An assassin that uses blades. <laughs> she was actually pretty good through normal. Probably faster through normal if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. 
I just supposed to think D2 is a complicated game. Well, it's got a lot of l underlying complexity. It's very simple, but it's not at all at the same time, you know? Durga! Gosh dang it, he died to a clone. So, you know, the, the complexity doesn't come from having an affix that's like, when monster is at 30% life and isn't in stunned phase and has recently seen the light then take increased 30% damage more for, you know, it, it doesn't have all that like dumb stuff on it. And it's sunny outside, but clap, like. Once you get past all that stuff, you know, that's like the, the lame complexity that they're putting in D4 that I don't like and that, you know, they have some in like D3 and you see some in PoE's got some of it here and there as well. And it's like, good Lord, just. Keep it simple. <laughs> and then have the complexity come from other places instead. Oh, Durga. Durga, did you die already? Man, he goes down fast here. That's okay. He did his job. We'll let our summons do the rest. Skelet, Necro, Skelly, and Golem build? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Now Bale's like, okay, now I'll stand still. Also, if you have that Kelpie Snare, Bale just doesn't do anything. And if you ever get a Diablo or a Bale clone and you don't want to fight the clone, go away from the Bale more than a screen and a half away just to be safe. Spend eight seconds away from it. If you want to get potions, if you want to resurrect your mercenary in that time, do whatever you want. Go back in. And the clone and all of the things summoned will be gone. Just a fun little fact. Trying to just draw aggro away from my summons and mercenary. I mean, I'd rather JSP wasn't involved with it, but they will be, you know, just the nature of it all. Get them, little ones. Goodbye. Easy. Saigon's helm to boot. And there you go. Yeah, I think it'll still be a thing. You have just completed Nightmare on your uh, summon druid. How about that? We'll go ahead and pause on the nightmare right there. And uh, we'll come back in with hell tomorrow. But hopefully this has been instructive and helpful in guiding you through uh, the summon druid. And like I said, farming for, for a little bit extra on this character is never a bad idea. Farming to get a little bit better gear. Farming to get a couple extra levels, whatever it is, right? I'm level 46 right here. 
going back and doing more bail runs, going and doing more Eldritch kills, whatever it is, is going to be beneficial. I don't want to go into hell at level 46. I'd rather go into hell at level 56 or 60 or something around there, especially on a character like this. So take that time, really get those skill points because the more you invest in here, the more that you get the plus to skills gear here, the better and better this character will be and the easier it will be for you to continue through hell because hell is going to be very difficult. So with that being said, I hope that this was useful. Mwah! I'll see you guys in hell. Peace, YouTube. Whoo! And that covers Summon Druid through Normal and Nightmare. Seven and a half hours! That's not bad. It's about the same speed as our Poison Nova Druid running through 45 density, it feels like. Maybe a little slower. Am I gonna do some leveling? Or go to bed? <sighs> I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go eat. I haven't eaten dinner yet. So, thank you guys for being here. Mwah! I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll do hell on this. And depending how long that takes, we might also do some more of the Poison Nova, Rabies, Insanity, PoE, Crazy Build, D2. You know, whatever that whole thing is. Let's go hang out with Miss Kylie. Feel free to throw her some Mr. Llama Loves. And uh, say hi. Mwah. Peace, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.